Guys, I have a problem. Right now, I've been having so much issues with Assurance Wireless and I'm thinking of leaving the company altogether. Now, if you guys are new, there's been lots of videos talking about their problems, their phone, their service, and all the kind of good things and bad things about their service. Now, before I get started, I just want to tell you, relax, hear me out, this might help you in any situation that you might have with these companies, or this might just be an interesting story for you to know that could help you with your lifeline decisions. So, if this helps, subscribe, comment down below if you've had anything like this happen, and share your opinions, and uh, without further ado, without... Oh my goodness. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Fam, I did not just hear my tripod. Let's get into it. So, to start off, this is the newest phone, the shock phone. We're going to go way back to when I got my first assurance phone. My first one is like lost somewhere, but here's my first assurance phone. And I used it for a while. It was good until it started breaking. Look at these audio pieces that have been chipping away in the front screen that's been cracking very easily. So after using this and it got damaged, I wanted a replacement and I had found out about replacements. I thought I was going to get the same phone, but no, I got this UMX. And I found it interesting that when you get a replacement, it's not always the same phone. And it could be a better upgraded version or some other model of another phone. So me being new, I was just getting into this. And I had this phone and I would used it. A few weeks in, my service gets cut off. And don't forget... Once this phone stopped working, they completely changed my phone number for no reason, which was unnecessary. So when this one stopped working again, they had also changed it, making things a bit tougher and kind of s stressful to deal with. So after it stopped working, I called Assurance and I asked for a replacement because this UMX phone, the service had been caught off, and I was wondering why. And it turns out, I was supposed to turn in this broken phone because it had a cracked screen. You can usually keep your old phones if there was no damage to the actual phone and it was like a software problem. That's when you got to keep it. But in this case, the phone was damaged from everywhere and cracked from the outside. And a bunch of other issues. So when this one got cut off, I asked for a replacement. They explained that I couldn't. But they helped me get past that issue. And here I am with the Wicko. I use it and then the service, of course, gets cut off again. And I also got a new number. So that's very annoying and stressful. I had gotten three replacements, like two numbers at this point, and I'm getting annoyed. So, the same thing happens. It gets cut off the service, and I and just so you know, I need these so I can record and show off the phone and how the service is overall for the company. But I couldn't do that because it kept on getting cut off every time I got a new phone. So, this one gets cut off, and... I call on, I call them again, they fix the issue, and of course they send me a new phone, which is the shock with a new number. So that is very annoying. So the third time, new number, new phone, and I'm like, this is going to keep happening. Until this phone, one day, wouldn't charge. I tried three different tri chargers, I tried them on different phones. Um... And it just wanted to turn on. And I literally went so far to buy another battery. Stupid. Which is dumb because this is a free phone. And it didn't work. 
which means something had happened to like the charging port or the components of the phone. So I realized this was going to keep happening. I was going to keep getting replacements, but the same issue would happen. And eventually the service on this would get cut off and I, and I would have to get a new phone with new service and a new number because in my last videos, I talked about their service. And if you don't use it within 30 days, they'll cut it off. So what do you guys think? Should I stay with assurance and kind of struggle until I can find a solution to this problem? Or should I just give up, put the company to a side? Now, if you guys enjoyed, comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what do you think about this problem. And, yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you for the support. And... Uh, if you notice the quality is down, it's because I'm actually filming with my Samsung because the iPhone is having issues, but I'll try to fix it and I'll also make a video on that. So that's going to be something cool to watch. If you enjoyed, thank you for watching. Why am I so bad at doing intros for real though? And uh, yeah, I'm just going to say bye. <laughs> Peace out.